strip eyelash extension. These are natural hair eyelashes from Giselle out of LA. What you're gonna do is when you get a strip eyelash, you're gonna work them and move them. So you can kind of give them some flexibility. That way when you put them on your eye, they're not straight and jagged and they're easily conformed to the shape of your eyelid and lashes. So you're obviously gonna place them where the shorter lashes are, you're gonna place them more in the center, and the longer ones, you're gonna place out in the in the outer corner. The trick to applying glue is you try and stay just really close to the, um, the lash line. You don't need a whole lot of glue. I'm using Duo. This is a waterproof glue. You can get this at CVS actually, or you can get it or Dwayne Reed or um, a MAC counter, anybody who really sells eyelash glue. This is the best one. It is hypoallergenic. So trick number two is you're actually gonna wait just a couple seconds for the glue to kind of dry. That way, when you put it on, it forms onto your eye pretty quickly and you don't get a big mess and the liquid doesn't start moving. It'll actually just hold it right in place. So you're just gonna close one eye. I kind of just like look down a little bit as well. I'm gonna work inside first. Hold it there. Go right on the edge. And then I just work it until it's a nice straight line. Even if you get a little glue on your eyelid, it's really not a big deal. I wouldn't, um, I'm gonna close both my eyes so this can dry. I wouldn't try removing the wet glue until it's completely dry, because if not, it'll start smearing all over your eyes. So I'm still working it right into the root of my eyelash. So it's gray right now, when it's dry, it'll turn completely black. For some, for if you're doing something more of a dramatic eye, I say go with this gray that dries black glue. Like I said, it's the waterproof glue, or you can um, use a white glue that dries clear, and that's not waterproof. So if it's a hot, humid day, I say go with the waterproof, or you're going to a wedding, definitely go with the waterproof. And once this glue dries, we're just going to take a little bit of makeup remover with the Q-tip and we're going to take all that gray out and black out. You can even cut the corners of these. These fit my eyes pretty well. There was really no need for me to trim the sides of them, but you can trim them to shape your eye. They're usually made pretty long. Again, stay right along that lash line. Wait for it to dry just a little bit. You can probably work your eyelashes while you're waiting. So again, it's just one corner, the next corner, smooth it out, and wait till it dries. So simple. Okay, so we're gonna clean up a little bit of that glue that's dry. This is Sensi Ice from Makeup Forever. This is a great makeup eye makeup remover. Just a little bit of that. Super easy to come off. With the waterproof glue, you do need to use a makeup remover to get any of the glue off because it's water resistant. And these are our eyelash 